redundant is this channel vortex? You tell me, please. Let me know in the comment section. This copy is old as fuck. It's old as fuck and it's cold as fuck, but we don't care because we don't have standards when it comes to coffee. In fact, the shittier it is, the more hardcore you feel drinking it. I'm just saying that because I used to be a 12-stepper, so I would drink like two pots of coffee and then go to sleep. It's because I wasn't smoking weed, so I had to have something, right? <laughs> had to have something to help me focus. Well, the reason why I asked about being redundant is because, like, I mean, I know. I know that I'm redundant. But... I was reading on the internet last night. I don't know if y'all know this, but the internet is a place where you can look up so much information. It's amazing to me because of how many people don't seem to do that. But I think that that's because nobody ever taught them that they can look up information on their own. Nobody ever taught them that they could be their own doctor they could be their own historian, or they could be their own, um, anything, really. Well, when everybody sucks at what they do, because everything's so commercialized, and the industries have taken over everything, so they value profit more than they do, you know, quality work, then, then yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, you better get away from me. Get away from me right now. Bye. You fucking right. They're not happy with anybody's driving. But anyway. So, I was reading last night. I already told you all some of this. I was reading about the origin of the word hysterical, okay? Now, I talked about this me Oh my god, that was really scary. Did you see that? It scared the shit out of me. It was a little motorcycle. He's gonna get his ass killed doing shit like that. But anyway. Yes, all it takes is just like a motorcycle zooming by for me to be like, oh. And then I'm like totally distracted and I totally forgot like what I was trying to say. Okay, um, the origin of the word hysterical. It's Greek for the word uterus, okay? Now, a long ass time ago, this dude that I'm a huge fan of, Thomas Dawes, a, who was a psychiatrist in like the 50s and 60s who's like written uh, quite a few books um, denouncing the whole concept of mental illness and um, saying that it's all about basically stereotyping people and um, putting people in boxes and expecting them to act a certain way and if they don't then they're stigmatized by society and then they're treated horribly by the government they're treated horribly by their family members they're treated horribly by um, employers and discriminated against and forced to do things against their will that are not in their best interest at all. Um, but this all started with women, okay? Like, hysteria started with women. And they didn't know what to do about women acting erratic. They didn't know how to handle them at all, which is why they weren't allowed to hold political office. It's why they weren't allowed to make decisions on their own because they're too crazy, okay? Not much has changed, has it? I mean, it doesn't matter, like, yeah, women have rights, but 
What's so funny is that people think that, it, oh, it's feminism that makes them crazy. No. <laughs> no. They're crazy. Like, naturally, they're crazy. So, the reason why they thought... that women were hysterical was because their uterus, they had this theory, it's called the wandering womb. So they think that their uterus just like moves around and that's what causes their menstrual cycle to be painful, that's what causes their mood swings, that's what causes their like crying fits and all that, temper tantrums. No, they act like children, they act like children. And it's because they don't understand what's happening. And nobody in society has ever like taught them that it's up to them to figure it out. Because that's not really a feminine thing to do. You know, it, it's like men figure out problems. Women expect everything to be done for them, you know? And that's okay because like, they're too immature to do things for themselves, you know? So the few exceptions to the rule we're always gonna get called misogynist, it doesn't matter. And it's because like we understand women, we, we understand psychologically how they are. Psychologically, they don't seem to be fit for anything useful in society. You know, like, I mean, Responsibility wise. It's like, I think about this a lot. Like, what can women do? It's like a lot of people say, well, m motherhood, you know, they're supposed to be wives and moms and shit. And it's like, yeah, yeah, I get that. But I don't think that that's enough. I don't think that that's enough of an answer. I think that, like, women need something more than that. Like, you can't just tell a woman, like, okay, well, all you have to do is, is just this thing that you were designed to do, and then all your psychological problems will go away. You know? Like, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Once again, everybody just sweeps things under the rug, and they think that if they do that, that people will just do what they want them to do, which is ridiculous. And so their solution to... Uh, women not doing what they want to do is just to fucking stigmatize them. I mean, do they deserve the stigma? Yeah, yeah, they do. A little bit, a lot, a lot, bit. But <laughs> I feel sorry for women. I feel sorry for women. Because they don't know that, that they can just figure things out. They don't know that they can just go out and talk to God. And if they heard themselves talk, I mean, therapists were invented for women, okay? So, like, if, if women would just go out, take a walk, talk to God, they'd be fine. But they're brainwashed by society, okay? So I thought that, like, modern women, that was the problem. No, I mean, no. I mean, I hate modernity with a passion. But that just goes without saying. You know, in regards to, like, women being crazy, they're always going to be like that. I mean, I can't stand them either way. Honestly, like, whether they're feminists or they're not feminists, like, I really don't care. Like, that doesn't make me like you. Like, oh, now that I found out you're not a feminist, well, that's cool. Now I can get over the fact that you're a covert narcissist, you know? Like, it's like they're all covert narcissists or borderline personalities. And narcissists aren't fun people to be around. They can fool you into thinking that they're good though, and that's the problem with them. And that's how they're emotionally manipulative. But, what's the solution? Like I said, should we all just kill ourselves? 